as government at all levels begin to infringe on the rights, liberties, and the freedoms of ordinary patriotic Americans, the nation has also seen a rise in groups willing to take up arms to defend those God-given rights. One of those groups is called the Oath Keepers. It was founded in 2009 by Stuart Rhodes, a Yale Law School graduate, a former U.S. Army paratrooper, as well as a former staff member for Congressman Ron Paul. We wanted to learn more about the Oath Keepers, so we traveled to Charleston, South Carolina, where we spoke to the state chapter leader, Richard Grumbine. Here's what he had to tell us. Well, my name is Rich Grumbine, and I'm the uh, South Carolina president for the Oath Keepers organization. Oath Keepers is a national organization of active duty, former and retired military, police, firefighters, and first responders and concerned citizens that honor the Constitution of the United States. We're located everywhere in all 50 states of the United States. We're rapidly growing. We do what we call RTI, Reach, Teach, and Inspire. And our main mission is to talk to active duty military, to talk to police departments, sheriff's departments, and remind them that their oath was taken to the Constitution of the United States. There are a lot of misconceptions about what Oath Keepers is. Uh, we have been called a right-wing militia. We've been called domestic terrorists. Of course, so have returning veterans. Uh, there are a lot of rumors out there uh, in the, the YouTube world, I guess you could say, that uh, we have some kind of a secret oath or whatever. The only oath that we ever take is the ones that all the military people have taken before. The politicians have taken, and that's our oath to the Constitution of the United States. We're not a militia, and we don't do anything that isn't perfectly legal. So, uh, you know, we take our stands, and we're really careful about how we take our stands to make sure that we do it in a legal manner. Some people say we're a racist organization. We've got plenty of black members. Stewart is a quarter Mexican. And... Uh, Patriots come in all colors, and we're perfectly happy to have any of them. We're all in this ship together, and if it's taking on water, we need to get together and get all the water out, and then we can worry about all their indifferences. You know, it, it, it's like I, like I said before, you have to, you have to stand for something, because if you don't, you fall for anything, as Aaron Tippin says. And we do, we just, uh, we want to make sure that, that, uh, the country is still here for our children.